Namaskar and good morning to one and all. Reverend Principal, Father Raj Kapoor, Headmistress and all the in churches and all of my dear brothers and sisters, my colleagues. Today in this auspicious morning for all Indians, we have gathered in this Danbosco High School premises to observe 74th Republic Day. So, we are going to celebrate this 74th Republic Day. We are going to begin with a prayer song by our brother and sisters. So, I would like to request our principal, please come on the desk. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high Into the heaven of freedom, my father Let my country away When all age is free Into the heaven of freedom, my father Brothers and sisters, now I would like to invite our principal, Father Rajkapu, to unfold the flag. To unfold the flag on this 74th Republic Day. Reverend Sister Sumida, the headmistress, Sister Therese Lagardo, the primary in charge, Sister Teresa Monica, KG in charge, Reverend Sisters, teachers, our supporting staff, and you, my dear children. Seven decades ago, on 26 January, our constitution came into effect. Even before that, this date had acquired special significance. Having resolved to attain Purna Swaraj, complete self-governance, our people had been celebrating Purna Swaraj Day on every 26th January from 1930 to 1947. That is why in 1950, we embarked our journey as a republic on the 26th January, affirming to the principles laid down in our constitution. Since then, every year we celebrate our Republic Day on 26th January. The modern state comprises the three organs, legislature, executive, and judiciary, which are necessarily linked and interdependent. Yet, on ground, the people comprise the state. We, the people, are the prime movers of the Republic. With us, the people of India rests the real power to decide our collective future. Our Constitution gave us rights as citizens of a free, democratic, secular nation but also placed on us the responsibility to always adhere to the central tenets of our democracy. 
justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity. It becomes easier for us to follow these constitutional ideas if we keep in mind the life and values of the father of our nation. In India, knowledge has always been considered more valuable than power, fame, or riches. In our tradition, educational institutions are respected as temples of learning. In free and sovereign India, education has emerged as a path to empowerment. Even though the development of our educational institutions commenced soon after independence, in an environment of scarcity of resources, our achievements in the field of education has followed a remarkable trajectory. Our endeavor is to ensure that no child or youth is denied education. At the same time, we need to strive to reach global education standards by continuous reform of our educational systems. I am sure the Don Bosco High School Lumbling, of which we are the beneficiaries, is setting up a model of global standards of education in the society today. This institution is not only the embodiment of unity, harmony, and equal opportunity for the people of all sections of the society, but also fosters true democratic and secular values in the students for better and brighter India. As we celebrate the Republic Day, we need to cherish these ideals of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. It is an ideal which we hope to live for and to achieve. We cherish the dream of India where prosperity will replace scarcity, equality will replace discrimination, fairness will replace corruption, gentleness will replace violence, and human values will replace selfishness. To achieve these goals, we need to think of the other first. We need to be good Samaritans to everyone in need. The power to change and transform rests in our hands, the faithful citizens of this great nation. As our Republic Day is celebrated, as our Republic Day is a celebration of our Constitution, let me conclude with the words of its chief architect, Baba Saheb Ambedkar. As our, if we wish to maintain democracy not merely in form, but also in fact, what must we do? The first thing in my judgment we must do is to hold fast to constitutional methods of achieving our social and economic objectives. These words have always lighted our path. These words will continue to show us the way ahead to new glories. Jai Hind, long live DBS. Thank you, Father, for your valuable speech. Now, special number by Pre Novices.
Justice. Now, I would like to call Sir Sumit on the stage to perform a patriotic song. <laughs> प्रसाद के कोई धन है क्या तेरी धूल से भर के तेरी धूप से रोशन तेरी हवा पे जिंदा तू भाग है मेरा मैं तेरा परिंदा है यार दीवाने की जा बोर सुहानी देखी एक रोज वही मेरा शाम हो याद करे जो जमाना बाकी पे मरत जाना जिक्र में शामिल मेरा नाम हो ओ देश मेरे तेरी शान फसद के कोई धन है क्या तेरी धूल से भर के तेरी धूप से रोशन तेरी हवा पे जिंदा तू भग है मेरा मैं तेरा परिंदा father for organizing this program despite this uh, our program is uh, this is sports and cultural week and sister thank you all the teachers you have present here you are present here for being this program also brother thank you my dear children those who are present today here really thank to everybody and all my sisters those who have sang very well and my all the workers uh, means don bosco workers please uh, give a huge round of applause for everybody bande <laughs> mataram jai hind come to an end so let us go back home rejoicing that we have celebrated 74th year of republic day love, love india and let us love one another our father has beautifully said we need to be the good samaritan being helpful to each other 
and supporting for each other for the growth of India and growth of the humanity. So thank you for all your support and thank you very much for your presence. Once again, I wish you all the best for this day and wish you a happy Saraswati Puja also today, those who are celebrating. So thank you and as we go, let us receive sweets and go.